evening, folks. Welcome to channel Last Best Hope. Last Best Hope. That's what this thing's called, right? I think it is. On this channel, I open up quality Yu-Gi-Oh products with, through a sheer uh, knowledge, uh, randomness, and all sorts of... Oh, <laughs> did you hear that? That beer just got opened! Man, that's a Coors! The Banquet Beer! Sam Elliott's favorite! Is Sam Elliott still alive? I think so. I think Sam Elliott's still alive. Pretty sure. The Banquet Beer. You're probably wondering right now, when you're watching this video, you're probably like, did that just happen? Did this redneck from deep in the woods, did he just crack open a beer on a Yu-Gi-Oh product opening? The answer is, hell yeah, he did. This is some good-ass beer, Coors. This cost me, like, a 24-ounce can of Coors cost me, it's a pretty penny. It's like 10 cents more than a 24-ounce can of Pat's Blue Ribbon. So I went all out for this video. That shit's damn good. Brewed with 100% Rocky Mountain water since 1873, Golden, Colorado. I'd like to go to Golden, Colorado sometime. Check it out. Maybe I will next year. I might go to Colorado next year for uh, checking out some Seahawk action. Seahawks are at Denver next year. And me and my dad like to go to an away game every season, so Denver might be it. Maybe stop in at Golden, Colorado and see where all the magic is made, right? But yeah, this is probably the only Yu-Gi-Oh! related channel. As you can see, Yu-Gi's right there. The only Yu-Gi-Oh! related channel that also has to deal with uh, 21 over beverages. Adult beverages, as I like to say. Fuck, that beer's good. You can get a, become an alcoholic with Coors. Anyways, guys, it's uh, good to see you again. Hope you all enjoying this video already. I uh, got, uh, you know, some news going on. Uh, you know, I been playing Yu-Gi-Oh again of course I've never stopped but I'm still playing Yu-Gi-Oh still playing Trickstar still rolling them up just destroying people once in a while I lose can't win them all next weekend's the OTS weekend after that's a regional in Spokane and then two weeks after that's a regional in Seattle so I will be attending all three of those so March is an extremely busy month for me and the game of Yu-Gi-Oh which I'm very excited to and more Yu-Gi-Oh happier I am but I've got a sponsor to get to I'd like to talk to you about proudly having again gave me $25 to keep the lights on, pay for some of these packs, pay for a little bit of the beer that I'm not supposed to, but go to hell. And again, my sponsor today is Shiny Cousin Jerry's Beard Oil and Fist Bumps. Yeah, you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know about Shiny Cousin Jerry, and you also happen to know that he is not my cousin. That's just a funny moniker he goes by, Cousin Jerry. Get it? We're out here in the woods, out in the middle of nowhere, you know, just living the good life. But Cousin Jerry, I have to tell you, even if you've watched these videos before, Cousin Jerry's extremely eccentric. And when you come into his shop, he will jitterbug on over to you, jitterbug. You know, that good old, uh, what's that, I can't even remember the damn name, he died, but, you know, wham, wake me up before you go-go, they say jitterbug a few times in there. Ah, that's good. Hmm. Oh, and also, I need to let you know, he has an extremely firm handshake. So if you get in on that handshake, just prepare yourself. Realize that you're probably going to get hurt a little bit, but you're going to be okay. Because Cousin Jerry specializes in beard oils. It's the oil you put in your beard to get it smelling however you want it to smell, smelling good, smelling whatever, to attract the women, or I guess in some cases to ward off people. I, I guess. I don't know. But he always gives me a sampling list of what's about to be released. Three new scents. For you to head down to Shiny Cousin Jerry's Beard Oil and Fist Bumps to put in your own beard and attract those women. And to this time, the three flavors are, or scents, however you want to call it. Sometimes some people call them flavors. I like to call them scents, but I've heard people say beard flavors, which I guess you can eat beard. I've, I've never tried it. I don't want to try it. I guess sometimes I accidentally do when my beard's real long. You know, I let my mustache grow as long as my beard. 
well, not that long, but you know, it covers my mouth completely. I've had videos, of course, y'all have seen where I've got it that long, and sometimes you eat your mustache. It just happens. You get used to it. You're like, mm, that's mustachey. Got to carry a lot of napkins. A lot of napkins to eat food. Anyways, the first scent is Busted Watch. So I assume that's some, I hope that's like a nice gold pocket wash that's all smashed up. You get your beard to smell like that, that metallic wind-up smell. It probably doesn't smell too bad. I like the smell of metal. Uh, second one, oh, this one I know well. I don't need a flavor. I don't need to put this in my beard. Is a uh, beer breath. Yeah, that's right. After I get done drinking a couple more of these Coors, I'm going to have a serious beer breath. Just like, how are you doing? And like, man, you are wasted. Like, hell yeah. You can all, <laughs> it's interesting because if you want to get beer breath in your beard, all you got to do is pour this beer all over your fucking face and you save you a trip to Cousin Jerry, I guess. But I shouldn't be saying that when he's my sponsor. I shouldn't be running down my sponsor while I'm talking about him after he gave me $25. And the third scent is Rotten Garden Bucket. I don't, I don't know about that one. Some of these scents, I don't really know. Like, what? who the hell is picking Rotten Garden Bucket? So, I would assume that's like you you uh, have a whole bunch of tomatoes you don't want. I don't know why you're growing tomatoes if you don't want them. But you're growing tomatoes and you throw them in a bucket and you forget, you forget about that bucket. You go inside, play some dueling book, watch some Indiana Jones, maybe watch some porn. I don't know what you all do. I know what my buddy Wicked Will does and I don't want to talk about that on air. But anyways, uh, you forget about that bucket, it lays out in the hot sun, it gets rotten, nasty, and you go and finally find that, you're like, I need that bucket, where did I put that bucket? And you go and find the bucket, and it's filled with, like, just rotten tomatoes and cabbage, and somehow, like, a, a snake got in there and couldn't get back out, so that snake's decomposing and all that nastiness, and it's just the worst, the worst stench you could ever possibly have, I guess, and you put that in your beard, and I, I guess some ladies like that. Good for them. That's what we're supposed to do. Diversity, right? Don't judge people for what they like. So, anyways, thank you, shiny cousin Jerry. Always appreciate. It. He's giving me a lot of money now. I mean, he gives me twenty five dollars a couple times a week. You know, he just I go down there and he compliments my beard. He almost kills my hand every time. And uh, he gives me twenty five dollars. Said, "Here's the list of the new beard scents I got coming out. Tell your uh, viewers uh, what's going on." And I I do every time, and I appreciate his uh, sponsorship. I'm very proud to have it. Cousin Jerry's a good guy. Got nothing bad to say about him. All right, what I'm here for, for Yu-Gi-Oh! action, those of you who enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! the game or show or artwork, I don't know, is I went on down to Walmart, and I went on in there, and I went hog wild. I lost control. I went in there and got a shit ton. Literally, I think I can officially use the phrase shit ton correctly in this video of blister packs. Yeah, I lost my mind. You know, I mean, it's just, it's bad. So what I got here is first, I, I can't even store them all. I gotta, I gotta dig all around to get them. Over here, ow, I got, this may not seem like much, five blister packs of Legendary Duelist Ancient Millennium. There's actually two uh, per blister, so that's actually 10 packs, even though I only got five blisters. You're like, well, whatever, dude, 10 packs? What, what are you talking about? No, it ain't over yet. No, I got I got more right here. I, I can't even really pick these all up. Here we go. Let's see if I can turn this around. 20 blister packs of Code of the Duelist. That's 20 of them. Really hoping to get, uh, out of Ancient Millennium, I'm hoping to get uh, Crystal Bond uh, and Millennium Eyes Restrict. Those are the two coolest cards. Now this one, uh, I guess just Trickstar Reincarnation. I don't know if Firewall Dragon's worth anything anymore because he's limited. I haven't been keeping up with the Firewall shenanigans. But I'd really like to get some Trickstar Reincarnations. That'd be a good one for me to get. All right, there's those. Then I also got 20 Circuit Break Blister Packs. So obviously what I'm trying to get out of here is uh, evenly matched and... Uh, Oh, uh, Boralode, the cover monster. Man, I'm having... Uh, uh, just, I can't... There's too many. There's too many blister packs. And you know this one's coming. There ain't no way this one, hell, this ain't coming. 
21 Extreme Force Blister Packs. Yeah, I was only supposed to get 20, but somehow I got 21. I don't know how that happened. I paid for 21. Don't think, don't act like I stole one. But uh, I'm hoping to get uh, Heavy Metal Foes Electromite and Cerusia Skulldred. And I guess Master Servers is really popular now all of a sudden, too. Damn. There they go. I, I just can't, I can't hold them all. There's just too many. There's too many blisters. I should have a video of someone dropping this many on me. I'd probably die. It was like suffocation. It's a lot of damn packs. That's 70 packs. 70... Uh, one actually. Hang on, folks. I gotta. I, I'm. I'm trying to organize these again, like an idiot. But I'm not done. No, Walmart had some weird ass shit going down. And look at these. These are special blister packs that you get an old ass pack. So these two have spell rulers, so they're not magic rulers. That shows you that they're not the old old ones. These are like obviously legendary collection one. Spell ruler. They're unlimited, and also you get a booster pack, two rares, and eight commons. So that's pretty cool. So I got two spell rulers and one invasion of chaos. So obviously these are legendary collection one. I mean, why would spe uh, all of a sudden just random invasion? Same thing. Uh, one booster pack, two rares, eight commons. Same thing. You get you know. So you just get the different pack. So you know what? They're unlimited. So there's really nothing I really want. Now, it, would it be sick to pull a goddamn black luster soldier envoy at the beginning? Unlimited. Oh my god, fuck yeah. What about a delinquent duo out of this? Or a mystical space typhoon? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. So, I've actually got 74 packs to open. So, this is gonna be a challenge even for the main man right here. Even for me. Whoo! Got some beer. Jesus Christ. Let me tell you what, when you're leaving Walmart, I got some funny stories here actually. So I was trying to pick these packs out at Walmart and like two Walmart employees who are about 20 years old, so they're about almost 10 years younger than me, came up to me and started asking me about Yu-Gi-Oh, asking me weird ass questions like have I ever had all five pieces of Exodia before? Have I ever summoned Slifer the Sky Dragon? I mean, all sorts of crazy-ass questions, man. It's like, dude, guys, leave me alone. I know you only watched, like, the first two seasons of the anime when you were, like, five years old. But get the hell away from me. I want to buy these. And then I had a hard time buying them because this black gal in front of me, I don't know what was wrong with her, but she could not get her fucking credit card to work. I mean, I sat there for, like, five, ten minutes, like, ma'am, I'd like to make my purchase... So she finally got done, and then I'm trying to buy these, and another different, a third Walmart employee, an old-ass Asian woman comes up to me and starts asking me why I'm buying so many, like suspicious, like I might be a terrorist or something for buying this many, you know, like a Timothy McVeigh or something. And uh, I was like, I just like them. I just, and she's like, do you collect these? I'm like, yeah, I collect cards. I like playing with these. I like selling them, whatever, you know, and, and, and buying them, and... And, and she was like, why are you getting so many? I'm like, because I want to, lady. I got the money. I'm not stealing them. I got $100 bills on me. Let me buy all these. Damn. And then, amazingly, they usually when I buy blister packs at Walmart, they usually um, set off the alarm. Uh, you know, you go out that thing, and they, they, they come over, and the old man looks at my bag and sees all this shit, and he's like, you're free to go, boy. And I'm like, all right. But they didn't set it off an alarm this time. I'm impressed. Maybe there's no security tags in these ones. But anyways, it was one hell of an event to get this many out. It was like I was buying some sort of narcotic or something, which I guess I kind of am. I, I'm kind of addicted to Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I, I kind of love the game and love the cards and all the lore and the history of the game because I've been playing since 2002. So I'm kind of into the whole thing. Uh, that's 16 goddamn years coming up in March. It's already March, but end of March, I think, is when I started playing in 2002. So 16 years of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's insane. Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be, I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to open all these up over there yonder. It's going to take me about half an hour to get these all open. So, uh, anyways, guys, I hope you're excited. I hope you get a beverage for this one. I hope you get a snack. You don't have to get beer if you're under 21. You can, you know, get a get a Mountain Dew. I'm, I love Mountain Dew. You can get a Coca-Cola. You can get some water if you really want to be healthy. Or if you want a beer, hell yeah, because I love beer, you know, and it's it's hella good. 
So I uh, hope you guys are ready for this because I don't know if I am. Jesus Christ. And I'm just looking at him like, fuck. Wow. What have I got myself into? And anyways, guys, it's going to be one hell of a marathon. Hope you all are ready. And uh, I know I am. And make sure that this video is going to get a lot better if you make sure to get drunk. Ah, oh, it's going in here. There it is. Coors the Banquet Beer. Look at that nice last logo down there. Golden Colorado with little lines around, little Spanish lines. Don't know why they're there. Banquet Beer. Proudly in the shape of a rhombus. I think that's what it's called. I think it's a rhombus. I can't get the beer in frame right now. I apologize to everyone who likes staring at the side of the beer can. I apologize right now. I can't get it in because I've got all these fucking packs here. Yeah, it took me about half an hour to open all these. A lot of them did have security tags on them, so I don't know why they didn't set off the alarm. Maybe I actually properly scanned them all. I don't know. But anyways, these are it's pretty cool to look at all this. These are all the current packs out right now, and I have a whole shit ton of all of them. Behind them, still in the blister pack back there, you might be able to see them right there, is the old blisters, the old the you know, spell ruler, which should be magic ruler, fucking magic the gathering, had to get change that damn name. And uh, Invasion of Chaos. So I kept those in blisters because I don't. I've never seen one of these before. So I want to see how they act. I want to see us together open them and uh, see if the rares and commons are from Spell Ruler slash Magic Ruler and Invasion of Chaos. It's cool about having the Spell Ruler slash Magic Ruler <laughs> is they have the Relinquish card and Thousand Eyes Restrict in there, which is also the support for which has the new support in this pack. So. Without further ado, let's get this marathon going. Like I said, I like to get a Crystal Bond or a Millennium Eyes uh, Restrict. Okay. Co Kubi Ar <sighs> Jesus. Ruby Carbuckle, Relinquish, Ancient Gear Golem, Arm Dragon Level 7, and Corrosive Scales. Yeah. This is going to be one hell of a marathon. So I can tell you. Ooh, Insect Queen, Barrel Dragon, Rainbow Bridge! I think this is the only ultra I haven't pulled in Ojama Match. All right, let me read this. Add one crystal. I like the small amount of text. Add one crystal spell or trap from your deck to your hand. There you go, folks. That's all you need to know. Just simple fucking card text is all I need. Maybe I can scoot these back a little, get the cards in a little more, a little more frame there. There we go. Working with fire now. All right, already second pack in an ultra rare. Nice. I, I think that is the only ultra I didn't pull out of those two boxes. Now watch, I'll pull another ultra and be confused. Ojama Magic, Time Machine, Crystal Tree, Rainbow Over Dragon. Nice. That's a BM4 Blast, but that's a good super rare. All right. Man, so much text. Hold up, guys. My back is... I... I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm really scratching my back. Whew, that's a bad itch. All right, I got it. Oh, yeah. Itch satisfied. All right. Uh, oh, Rainbow Over Dragon. Seven Crystal Beast Monsters. This card is always treated as an ultimate crystal card. Must either be fusion summoned or special summoned by attributing one level 10 ultimate crystal monster, in which case you do not use polymerization. Once per turn, you can banish one Crystal Beast monster from your graveyard. This card gains attack equal to the banished monsters... Uh, until end of this turn. Quick effect. You contribute the, this fusion summon card. Shovel all cards on the field into the deck. Uh, so why would you do that? I guess just to restart the game almost. If nobody has anything in hand. I don't know. Weird. Cool card though. I like it. It looks cool. Alright. Hands of Dragon. I like this reprint. Arm Dragon level 3. Will relinquish. Crystal release. An illusionist. Faceless magician. Not bad. Starting out strong from... Pegasus, even though these are all Crystal Beast cards here, no uh, Thousand Eyes. Crystal Tree, perfect ultimate Great Moth, and a Desperado Barrel Dragon. And another BM4 Blast Spider. <laughs> Banded Keith Barrel Dragon support. I never thought in my life would I see Barrel Dragon support. But here we go. I think I like the original Barrel Dragon. I think I like its looks more. Okay, if a face-up dark machine monsters you can show a destroy by battle or card, but you can special summon this card from your hand. That, that's really good because you can destroy your own and then special summon this from hand. 
Once per turn during the battle phase, quick effect, you can toss up to toss a coin three times, destroy face up monsters on the field up to the number of heads. Then if the result was three heads, draw one card. This card cannot attack the turn, this effect is activated. This card is sent to the graveyard. You can add one level seven or lower monster as a coin tossing effect from your deck to your hand. It really makes me wonder how many coin toss monsters there are. I mean, I, I just, I don't know, because it's so rare. The, the card I have the most familiarity, besides Barrel Dragon and Blowback Dragon, with coin tossing, is, uh, honestly, Cup of Ace. Angel Gear Golem, Rainbow Dragon, Vortex Trooper, Panzer Dragon, Ojama Match. I really like that Panzer Dragon reprint. Is that the first time he's been reprinted? It can't be. He must have been reprinted as a rare out of a Mega 10, too. All right. He's... There he is again, Panzer Dragon. I'm surprised they didn't rename him because that's German. Panzer actually means armor in German originally, but since World Wars, Panzer now means tank. It means tank or armored, so armored vehicle, I guess. Time Machine, Vortex Trooper, Black Illusion, Ritual, and Mimicat. I have not gotten this car. There he is, a rare Mimicat. This must be a very short print rare, just like Tomb Kingdom. I think I've only gotten one out of two boxes. But how about that? Mimicat does exist in this set. Nice. That's a good ass card. It's just basically a snatch steal, isn't it? Oh no, you can you can target. Oh, it's it's like doppelganger from the anime. Crystal tree, thousand eyes trick, limit removal, rainbow dragon, parasite, paranoid. Ah, hang on. Just mixed up my pile. I hate doing that. I like having rares and supers and stuff all separated into one pile and commons in another. Helps me out. Helps me find things later. All right, I got two packs left of this. Come on now. I heard that the dogs around the beer mart are starting to throw up cold blood. I don't know what the fuck that's all. That's pretty fucking weird. Arm Dragon level five, Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound and Cocoon of Ultra Evolution along with a corrosive scales to match. Okay, Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. Wasn't there also a cocoon fucking fighter in Dragon Ball Z when Goku died and fought in the other world tournament? Not the one he's in now, but I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z where he meets Pycon. Which, what happened to Pycon? I thought he was going to come back. But anyways, cocoon of ultra evolution. Tribute one insect monster from either field equipped with an equipped card. And if you do, special summon one insect monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one insect monster in your graveyard, shuffle into the deck, then draw one card. You can only use the effect of Cocoon of Ultra Evolution once per turn. I, I really don't really know too much about this card. Like, it doesn't seem very good, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, it, it's interesting, but I can't imagine using that in any deck. Like, I guess it'd be kind of, it, it, you know, it'd be kind of cool in Insectors. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. What am I talking about? Okay, last pack, Ancient Millennium, Relinquished, Ancient Gear Golem, and Ojama Match. It's pretty good. I got three Ultra Rares. Nice. Those, it's tougher to get Ultras and Supers out of these packs than out of normal ones, too, because they actually go by the old ratio. So, pretty good. Three Ultras. Okay, Code Oduelist. Oh, I think I can sneak my beer in there now. Oh yeah, there he is! Did you guys see the beer slide in? That beer just slid into the view. Now you all can see what I'm drinking beer. I'm gonna have some beer right now. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's 21 plus right there. That's adult entertainment. Hoping for a Trickstar reincarnation. I think that's the best card in the set still. Dark World Brainwashing. Why is this so fucking bad? Grand Prix, Boogie Trap... Cracking Dragon, Revendred Slayer. Cra ah, Samurai Skull, Treasure Panda. I just got done watching the first two Indiana Jones last weekend. They are still so fucking good. Like, you watch them, you're just so entertained. It's amazing. Speedroid, Passing Glider, Galaxy Worm, World Legacy, Landmark, Zombina, Heavy Storm Duster, by far the best super in this set. World Legacy Discovery. Uh, Abyss Actor, Trendy Understudy. This card's pretty good for Inferni. Samurai Skull, which could have been a lot better card. They would have changed how it worked. I guess uh, we're getting 12 TCG exclusives in every core set now, so that's going to be exciting. I mean, I think we used to get like 10 anyway, so two more, okay. Launcher Commander, Destiny Hero Dangerous, Castle Link, Absolute Garbage Ultra, Blind Obliteration. Love the name of that one. 
Patriarch, Disgusting, Stack Reviver, and Twilight Twin Dragons. Okay, let's read. I think this is the worst Ultra in the set. Field Spell. I do like how it's Terror King, Salmon, Death's Rook, Archfiend, and um, something Terror King, Archfiend, I think it is. Is that supposed to be the fucking sun behind him? What the hell's going on there? Okay, once per turn, you can target one Link monster on the field and move it to a main monster zone it points to on its owner's controller's field. Once per turn, you can switch to the location of two Link monsters in your main monster zone. There are two Link monsters in your opponent's main monster zone. It's like a modern-day Senate switch. That's what Rad Ryan said, and he's absolutely right. It's a modern-day Senate switch. Trying to... There we go. All right, still going on. So, shitty Ultra, but an Ultra nonetheless. Hopefully I can pull a secret rare out of fucking... How many packs? 61 packs? I should get a secret, I hope. Air Cracking Storm. F.A. Sonic. What is this one? Meister? Uh, Mrs. Raiden. Good card. World Legacy. World Chalice. Hang on, Mach. Twilight Cloth and Hack Worm. Is this responsible for the Russian collusion? A Hack Worm? We better send this to Robert fucking Mueller so he his team can investigate this for seven years at the cost of every taxpayer in America. Like, wow, dude, are you ever going to get fucking done? Oh, no, I'm not done yet. I've got to look into other shit. It's like, dude, how long is this going to take, man? I know the government's slow, but goddamn. All right, Boogie Trap. Grand Prix, Jack Wyvern. Vendred Reorgin. There's a secret rare. Revendred Slayer to back it up. Uh, Perry Knights, Treasure Panda, Trump Panda. Another offensive card. Should, should Moeller investigate this? What does this mean? Trump Panda with a fucking horn around it? A trumpet? It's not even a trumpet, is it? Uh, no, it's not. I forget what they call these things. A French horn or something. My God, if I got that right, I'm impressed with myself. Three strikes barrier, but that is suspicious. Why was that in this pack? All right, Vendred Reorgin, which will probably go up in value again soon. It always goes up and then goes back down. Because whenever they announce new Vendred support, people think it's broken and then it doesn't go do anything. But Vendred Reorgin, man, he's got Wolverine claws. I always thought that was weird. Target one face-up monster opponent controls as a level attributed, and if you do spend some one vendor and token, zombie, dark, attack zero, defense zero, with a level equal to the attributed monster's original level, the token, while the token special summoned by this effect is on the field, you cannot normal special summon monsters that vendored monsters. I don't know why the hell they had that. I guess the reason they put that in there is so other archetypes couldn't abuse this card. I think that's the only reason. That has to be, so you couldn't link and stuff with them. Or sync with them. I mean, sync would be really cool. They should have a synchro fucking vendor, but they're not going to. They only have rituals. I guess uh, about a month and a half, two months now, we're going to have the last vendor cards, which, I okay. Jack Wyvern, the Ascendant of Thunder. Man, that's insane looking. Air Cracking Storm, Goki, Twist Cobra, and a Motivating Captain. Another Hack Worm, Crowned by the World Chalice, and Predator Plant, Disgusting. That's like a potato log. Have you guys ever had a potato log? Pretty good. Especially when you're drunk. Corn dogs are when you're drunk or taste even better. I just noticed today, by the way, that if I'm eating a corn dog, right, like I go to Safeway Deli and get their corn, but they have the best corn dogs by far. Safeway Deli, Safeway Deli is the best deli you can get. I don't know why I haven't made a Safeway Deli buffet. Why well, leave money on the fucking table, right? But you get a corn dog from there, it's so good. But if I'm eating a corn dog, that literally means I have nothing better to do. Like, I'm sitting eating a corn dog instead of doing something productive. Uh, passing Glider, Galaxy Worm, World Legacy Landmark, another Mrs. Radiant. Back to the front. It was actually a really good card. Weird artwork on it, though. I don't really like that artwork. It's a little abusive towards Marauding Captain. Back in by the World Chalice, Hackworm, crowned by the World Chalice. A lot of normal monsters in this to fit that World Chalice theme that I guess got first place at YCS Bonchum over in Germany, I think it was. Is that where it was? Forgive me if it was in Norway or something. Air Cracking Storm, F.A. Sonic Meister, chosen by the World Chalice. March of the Dark Brigade, an ultra rare Trickstar Lilybell. A hella good card. I highly recommend it in any Trickstar deck. One copy only. I don't like more than one. Uh, Ultimate Pound. My god, Ultimate Pound is that recent? That's right. It did come out in Code the Duelist, and now it's an Ancient Millennium. Five Twin Dragons, Crowned by the World Chalice. Okay, I don't remember what this card does. Like at all. It's the uh, Twilight... Uh, what, what's the new Twilight? Twilight Sworn? I don't know. Man, look how crazy Ryko looks. Holy fuck. Ryko looks scary as hell. Who's this supposed to be? I don't know. I don't recognize him. 
Anyways, target one life sworn monster in your graveyard that has a level. Add it to your hand, then banish the number of cards from the top of your deck equal to the original level of that monster in your hand. You can only activate one March of the Dark Brigade per turn. Don't know if that's any good. I honestly don't see the Dark Light Sworn, even though I want it to be a thing. Just nobody ever did anything with it. Here you can see I had a security tag on it. The, the magnetic strip did not come off of the, the tag. So, oh god, my empty packs almost fell down. Junk Breaker. <laughs> Jane, oh, it's Jane, Twilight Sworn General. Thank you, Pack, for answering the question I had from the previous pack. Pulse Mines, Boogie Trap, Break Off Trap Hole with the Jack. Man, I thought for a second he was grabbing his crotch. I'm like, what in the hell? When a Link monster is linked to destroy a monster on the field that are not linked, that's a terrible card. Revenger and Slayer, Hang On Mock, Twilight Cloth, Hack Worm. Why don't you just use fucking Torrential Tribute, dude? I guess I guess if you Link Summon, you can activate that and then blow up your opponent's field and still keep your Link Monster. So I guess it's technically better than Torrential, but that's too specific. You have to Link Summon. Boogie Trap. That's not a bad card. Twilight Sworn Generals. Another Mrs. Radiant. A full play set, a recall. A full play. Disgusting Corn. <laughs> Supreme Rage, Beckoned by the World Chalice, Ultimate Pound. That thing's not even corn. I don't know why I call it corn. I'm getting way too drunk here. I'm calling some sort of hideous plant carrot log thing corn. God, I haven't put a dent in these cards. <sighs> the beat goes on! Air Cracking Storm, Sonic Meister, Chosen by the World Chalice, Vendred Revenants, Trap Tricks Mantis. It's actually a good card. Man, how many fucking Slayers have I gotten? There's so many. Anyone need a Revenger and Slayer Rare? Smile Universe, Infernity Patriarch, Wicked Acolyte, Shalom Shabak. <laughs> That's a hilarious name. Uh, so, so far I've gotten two Ultras and a Secret from each Code of the Duelist. Trying to get that Trickstar Reincarnation. That'd be pretty fucking sick. Junk Breaker, Vice Typhoon, Rescute, Rescue, Cute. World Legacy Heart, Break Off Trap Hole again. Vendred Hound Horde, which was the sneak peek card. Nasty Smile Universe Patriarch. I don't know why they quit doing that. That was such a cool thing where the TCG exclusive was the sneak peek card. It's been that way, I, I can't remember, since Extreme Victory? Or was it older than that? Was it Duelist Revolution? I don't remember. Air Cracking Storm, F.A. Sonic Meister, Chosen by the World Chalice, Vendred Revenants, Ib! The World Chalice Priestess, Goki Riscopio. Ib's pretty good. Uh, back in my World Chalice, Ultimate Pound, and something called Sabak. <laughs> well, remember the villain in Temple of Doom was Mola Ram? Now, I just got done watching Temple of Doom less than a week ago. Like five days ago. And... Um, I don't know how Indy ever learns Mola Rom's name. I can't think of the scene where he's like, I'm Mola Rom, or that's Mola Rom. I don't know. World Legacy Heart, Chosen by the World Chalice, Dark World Brainwash. There's only a second one of that I got. FA Sonic Meister, Trickstar Lycris, hella, hella good. The heart of the deck almost. Uh, Gus Hiking Alexander. Oh, there it is again. I'm going to just put that over there so no one gets offended. Uh, Three Strikes Barrier and Trendy Understudy. But yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, I, it was, I was thinking today at work, does he ever say Mola Rom? Like, how does Indy know his name is Mola Rom? I must have missed it for 20-something years now. Or I just, I never see the scene where he's like, hello, good day, Dr. Jones. I am Mola Rom. Now time to lower this man to the lava pit. Chosen by the World Chalice. Disgusting card. March of the Dark Brigade. Gotta get two of them. Can't just get one. You gotta get two. Uh, Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. Hack Worm, Twilight Cloth, Trendy Utter Study. Oh, and the first one of this I've gotten, Revenged Origin, which has the best artwork of this set. Man, that looks nice. That is a quality. It's a dark, dark card, too. This zombie is somehow remembering that he was once a man with a beloved, beautiful wife. What if it showed, like, his dog instead? Like, man, that'd be kind of sad. You have a locket around your neck with your dog in it? What the fuck are you doing? Mars of the Dark Brigade. Let's read it again. Look at that Raikou. Look at that. Look at this. Now I know it's Jane, Twilight Swarm General. How about that? Uh, it looks like they got the Ku Klux Klan behind them. I guess that's pretty dark. All right. <laughs> no offense to uh, dark people. I don't want to 
Get confused there. Target one Life Sworn Monster in your graveyard as a level. Add it to your hand, then banish a number of cards from the top of your deck, even the original level of that monster in your hand. You can only activate one March of the Dark Brigade per turn. All right, I got those back to back in terms of rarity cards. So two March of the Dark Brigade. Am I gonna build a Twilight Sworn deck? Fuck no. Hell no. Punishment Dragon's in here, I forgot about him. Grand Prix, Boogie Trap, Jane, Twilight Sworn General, Break Off Trapple, gotta get a full play set of that, back to the front. Samurai Skulls, this card would've been so much better if it was when this card is summoned, not just normal summon, because it eats up your normal, sucks. Smile Universe, Downforce, Orbital Highlander, this card is busted. This card's absolutely fucking busted. It's absolutely insane. Cannot be normal summoned, Slash set. Must be special summon from your hand by having five more monsters in your graveyard and no monster in your graveyard with the same name. It's pretty easy to do. Once per turn, quick effect. You can send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Destroy one card on the field. You must have at least two monsters in your graveyard and no monsters in your graveyard with the same name to activate and resolve this effect. So, a lot of times this effect fizzles because when it mills three, they'll put another monster in the grave that's already existing in the grave. So, it, will, it gets to mill three if you don't have... Monsters, multiple monsters with the same name, but if you add another one to the grave while this effect is trying to resolve, it won't resolve. So I've seen many times where Rad Ryan tries to resolve that on me or other folk, and it doesn't work. But I mean, it still, it's a 3,000 attack beater he gets for free. Brutally good. Brutally good. Highly, highly undervalued. Vendred Revenants, Backup Secretary, Aristia Dextia, another Ib, and another Gust High King. I think they came together last time, too. Supreme Rage, like that name. Back in by the little house. Ultimate Pound and Sabak. Molaram! What's Indy say to Molaram? He says, Molaram, prepare to meet Kali in hell! Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's a pretty awesome scene. And then he cuts the bridge. Why didn't Molaram get on the bridge? Like, he had all those thuggies with them. Just send them like he does. And he's like, ah, fuck, I'm gonna get on the bridge too. Bad decision, Molaram. Junk Breaker, DB Vice, Typhoon, Emerging, uh, what is this? Emerging, Emergency Rescue, Rescue, Trap Tricks, Mantis, Rex, Rex, or is it Reeks? I don't know. Hackworm, Crown by the World, Chalice, Predator Plant, Disgusting. That should just be its name. Man, my foot's asleep. This could be a long video, folks. I apologize. Hope you got a second Mountain Dew. Hope you pounded down that first one. You're getting on that second Dew. World Legacy's Heart, Vice Typhoon, uh, Emergency Rescue, Rescue, Goki Twist Cobra, uh, World Legacy World Chalice, Disgusting Creature, Treasure Panda, Supreme Rage, and Sabak. Okay, last pack for Co the Duels. Does this, does this have a Trickstar Reincarnation or a Life Stage or a Candina? Does it have a Trickstar High Rarity card? There's three High Rarity Trickstar cards in this set. Can I pull one here? We'll see Landmark, Zombina, Vendred Revenants. No, it's a Goki rematch. Gross. Back to the front. Crown by the World Chalice. Hang on, Mock. Twilight Cloth. So let's recap. I managed to get four high rarity cards out of 20 packs. That's about right. It's actually one less than I probably should get. I should, I should maybe, I think it's like one out of every, how many do you get now? You get in a box, you get six. So six, 12, 18. Yeah, you're supposed to get, no, no, I did about right. That's about right. Never mind. What am I thinking? Yeah, it's every six you're supposed to. So I guess I did about the right thing there. Or not. I don't know. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, circuit break. Here we go. Let's go for um, circuit break. I should get uh, Borload or Evenly Mash. Those are the ones I want. Link Restart, Crawler Ravener, Vendred Knights. All night long. I heard that song for the first time in years on the radio today. When it first came on, you know, you haven't heard a song in like 10 years. Is this Lionel Richie's All Night Long? Wow. And it all of a sudden it's like, all night long. It's like, yeah, it is. This is the only song I like from him all night long. It's not even that good, but it's catchy. It gets stuck in your head. Uh, yeah, Lionel Richie, how about that? Defect Complier, Grand Prix, Link Infra Flyer, The Accumulator, Gateway Dragon, which is another highly underrated card. Vendred Reunion, gross, super disgusting. 
Uh, Dark Angel, World Legacy in Shadow. Alright. Come on, Borload. Burning Bamboo Sword, Crawler Spine, uh, whatever the Grand Prix, Trickstar Black Cat Bat, Ultra Rare, terrible, probably the worst Ultra in the set, unless I pull another one worse than that, which I probably will. Security Block, X Crawler Nurgros, FA Pit Stop, Ojama Duo, Lunalite, Kaleido Chick. I forgot Lunalites are in this. Alright, what we got here? <clears throat> Two Trickstar Monsters. Each time a monster that this card points to is destroyed by Battle of Card Effect, it's great. Flick 200 damage to your opponent. Each time your opponent takes damage by a trickster monster, face up monster they control, lose 200 tech for each card, each monster's point card points to until the end of this turn. Man, this card sucks. God, that's awful. That's fucking terrible. That's unplayably bad. Why is that an ultra rare? Jesus Christ. Come on, Konami. You can do better than that. This could have been a better ultra, maybe. I don't even know what it does. Crawler Spine, FA Offro Grand Prix, Link Infra Flyer, Alter Geist Protocol. I played against Alter Geist uh, last week. I don't know if I talked about it yet. Dude, this is good rare. Um, and they're pretty tough to beat. Alter Geist is not bad. Pretty trap heavy. They brick hard. But, you know, any deck that's not like a tier one deck's going to brick hard. And some random cards. All right. Man, this is a lot of fucking work. Uh, World Legacy Clash, Link Restart, Crawler Reviner, Miss Starboy, Metaphys Executor, uh, Elemental Grace Dorito. Man, that's crazy. Vendor Stridges, Alter Geist Concori, Metaphys Factor. Oh, yeah, Metaphys is in here. All right. Still piling it on. Temple of the Mind's Eye, Duck Dummy, Luna Light Crimson Fox, Metaphys Executor, Personal Spoofing. Soldier Dragons, Ling Ling, Vendred Stridges, Aldergeist Concori. Someone actually played this card. This card is so fucking bad. Someone actually played this all against me on Dueling Book, and they lost immediately that turn, I think. I think mean, I just gave up. Like, I oh, fuck this. I can't believe someone actually tried to play games with that fucking card. They must be sad, suicidal individuals. Duck Dummy, The Accumulator, Crawler Spine, World Legacy Clash. Gateway Dragon, one-time passcode, not good at all. Kunkori, Sniffer Dragon, Crawler Receptor. Slide this beer in a little bit more right there. See, more the beer is slowly starting to take over the view. I might have to get a second fucking beer. Oh, man. Yu-Gi-Oh! problems, right? Rural Legacy Clash, Rural Legacy Pawn, Self-Destruct Dance. Broken Line! That's another terrible Ultra. D uh, Dragonoid Generator. Nergos, Crawler Axon, Amazon Empress. That's the first one I got. F.A. Pit Stop. For all this hype about F.A., I have not played against one ever. Uh, broken Line. When a spell slash trap card or monster effect is activated in this card's column while this card is set, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. I actually had people play this against me. It's not bad because it's a counter spell, you know, counter trap. So, uh, every time it's gone off against me, it's done some damage, because I'm not expecting that at all. I mean, I like how it negates everything, you know, as long as it's in the same column, it's actually pretty good. Mermail Abyss Rene, Link Restart, Crawler Spine, Temple of the Mind's Eye, Link Bumper, Samurai Destroyer, good TCG exclusive, actually. Not as good as just Tornado Dragon, Capacitor Stalker, and Soldier Dragons. Remember that one card? That card, Soldier Dragons, reminds me of a Backup Soldier. Backup Soldier, is that a spell card? I don't remember what it does. I completely remember its card. Of, I mean, its artwork, though. Link Infra Flyer, The Accumulator, and this is Rocket Dragon. Vendred Knights, all night long. Fantastic Strybor. Man, I don't even remember this card. Holy shit. Dark Angel, Royal Legacy, and Shadow Amazon, a Spy, Cyber's Beacon. All right, I'm hauling ass through these circuit breaks. Not getting anything good. Just getting straight up smashed. Crawler Glyle, x Synaphis, Self-Destruct Ad, and another Trickstar Black Cat Bat. Whatever it's called. World Legacy World Armor. F.A. Pitstock, Capacitor Stalker, Soldier Dragons, Ling Ling. Remember that one show on Comedy Central? Wasn't it the name of the little Pikachu monster? Ling Ling? Talked in Japanese and... Cause problems. 
Uh, Alright, I'm going to read this again. I'm going to get I'm going to get extremely offended as a fact. Each time a monster's this card points to is destroyed by battle or card effect and stand in the grave, inflict 200 damage to your opponent. Each time your opponent takes damage by a trick star monster effect, face up monsters they control, lose 200 attack for each monster this card points to until the end of this turn. God, that's so fucking bad. What were you thinking, Konami? Come on, why is that an ultra? It's so bad. It like does nothing. The new one is a lot better, and it's not even as good as Holly Angel. Temple of the Mind's Eye, World Legacy Clash, World Legacy Pawn, Self Destructant, Metaphys Ragnarok. Uh, Thor Ragnarok was my favorite movie in 2017. Alder Guys Camouflage. Lang Lang, Soldier Dragons, Capacitor Stalker. I'm trying to see that Black Panther movie, but so far I haven't been able to because it's like sold out. It's been sold out for like weeks. And I heard that I'm not really supposed to see it because I'm white and redneck. And it, it's not meant for me, but I'm still going to go see because I heard it's going to get Obama mad, and I like getting Obama mad. F.A. Whipcrosser, Crawler Galil, Crawler Snaphis, Vendred Knights, a full play all night long. Fire King Avatar Arvada. This card is actually pretty good. I like this card. Uh, Crawler Dendrite, Amazon is Spy, Amazon is Empress, Crawler Axon. Crawlers are terrible. That's another Arctac room. My god, I'm glad these didn't take up any ultras. They did take up quite a few supers, though, I think. But supers don't matter anymore. Grand Prix, Info Flyer, The Accumulator, Goki Headbat, World Legacy, Trap Globe, Trickstar and Narcissus. This one's really bad, too. If your opponent takes effect damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. Can only effect in Narcissus once per turn. Each time your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or graveyard, inflict 200 damage to them immediately after it resolves. Yeah, not good. That's not going to happen too often, folks. Uh, Turbocharger, Metaphys Factor. <coughs> oh, i got to get some beer. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm not even doing circuit break yet. World Legacy Clash, World Legacy Pawn, Self Destruct Darn, Crawler Glyle, another World Legacy Trap Glow, back to back. Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. So far, I've only gotten three Ultras, and they've all been ass. Crawler Receptor, Crawler and Gross, F.A. Pit Stop. Come on, Circuit Break. Don't bring me down. Let me get a secret out of you. Let me an evenly master Boral Load. Link Restart, Crawler Spine, Temple of the Mind's Eye, Metaphys Nephitis. I like the name of that car, but it's terrible. Personal spoofing. Alter Guys Concori, Remote Rebirth. That what it is? Yeah, Remote Rebirth, World Legacy, and Shadow Dark Angel, which is not a Trickstar monster, but it looks like one, right? <clears throat> Alright, still moving on here. Ah, that pack didn't want to open. Duck Dummy. Oh, that's the first one of that I've gotten. Reciting Starling. Cool. Goki Headbat, Amazon's Pet Liger, Metaphys Executor, Metaphys Didalis. Why wasn't there a Metaphys... Uh, Diabolos. I know he's getting a new form of himself in the new structure deck, but it should have been a metaphys of him. Ling Ling, my god, that's terrible. Alright, three packs left of Circuit Break. I think Circuit Break's gonna give me a big old middle finger. It's not gonna let me pull anything good. Goki Headbat, Burning Bamboo Sword, Crawler Spine, FA Offro Grand Prix, Auto Rocket Dragon, One Time Passcode, Dark Angel, World Legacy, and Shadow Amazon, a spy. All right, two packs left. Three horribly bad ultras out of circuit break so far. Goki had bad. Nimble Beaver, short print. Nimble Beaver. <laughs> There's so many adult jokes you can make about that. Like, the only animal abuse I ever do is when I smash her beaver. <laughs> yeah! Mermel Bisnade. Vendred Knights got four of them all night long. Trickstar Narcissus. Pit Stop, Ojama Duo, Luna Light, Kaleido Chick, and Remote Rebirth. All right, here we go. Circuit Break. Big middle finger right here. No secret rare. Hard to believe. Can't believe this is going to happen. Crawler Reviner, Tremble the Mind's Eye, Defect Complier. Yep, Metaphist Ragnarok, and Personal Spoofing. Not a single secret rare out of 20 packs of Circuit Break. Holy fuck, that's bad. Amazon is Spy, Amazon is Empress, Crawler, Axon, and Dark Angel. You know, I never got an Amazon is Liger either, Pet Liger. I didn't get a lot of cards out of that. What the fuck? All right, Extreme Force. Here we go. Can I pull a Heavy Metal Foes Electromite? That'll make this whole, make me forget completely about Circuit Break. If I can pull a Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. 
Not this thing, Electric Avenue. Yokozuna Sumo. Remember Yokozuna in WWF? The guy wasn't Japanese all, he was Filipino. No, he wasn't Filipino. Oh, he's Samoan. He's dead now. Call the Archfiend, Tindangle Intruder, Gem Knight, Phantom Quartz. I heard Gem Knight's really good, actually. Now, World Legacy Scarves. Mech Knight, Green Horizon, Tindangle Acute, and Parthian Shot. This card, like, I think there's a chance it would be good, but I know there's not. I know that deep down in my soul that is completely drenched in beer and beef sticks, that Parthian Shot, although looks neat, is an absolutely horrible card. Link Hole. What is this? If you're going to go Link 4 or higher monsters, destroy monsters your opponent controls up to the number of Link 3 or higher monsters you control. Man, that's awful. Tendangle Angel, Column Switch, Walk Kinetic Puppeteer, Power of the Guardians. You know that card's awful by its name. Metal Rocket Dragon. Flick Clown. Fuck Clown. Link Belt Wall Dragon. Is that offensive? Is Labyrinth Wall, like, a hella offensive card now? Like, we gotta talk about that. I'm gonna bring that up tomorrow. Burn all your Link, your Labyrinth Walls, folks. Trading Places, Tendangle Hounds, Showdown this, uh, whatever. It's curious, the Light Sworn Dominion, Mech Knight Red Moon, Boral Cooling, Link Belt Wall Dragon, Grappler Angler, which again is the return of Terror King Salmon. Very nice. Still going here. Still with me? Calm Switch, Nagel's Protection. Did what is this? Dindangle Delane. Mythical Beast Garuda. Another absolutely horrible ultra. Clyfort Genius. Euler's Circuit, Ghost Trick Renovation, Grappler Angle, and World Shield. Alright, let's read this garbage. God, so much text on pendulum cards. Okay. If you have no card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can target one other Spell Trap card on the field. Destroy both it and this card. You only use this effect of Mythical Beast Garuda once per turn. Monster effect. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card when that spell resolves. When your opponent normal or special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can remove three spell counters from your field. Special summon this card from your hand, then return that opponent's summoned monsters to the hand. You can only use the effect of Mythical Beast Garuda once per turn. This effect isn't that bad. Three spell counters from your field. Compulse the entire field, potentially? That'd be pretty insane. What the fuck? Huh. I gotta see. I gotta test that deck out and see if it's actually decent. Call the Archfiend. Hopefully this card will be good someday. Tendangle Intruder. Kurio Karate Spirit. Triple Burst Dragon. That's another awful Ultra Rare. Getting all the terrible Ultras. Mythical Beast Jackal. Uh, World Legacy. World Shield. Grand Prix. Scramble Egg. Tendangle Protector. Let's read this heap of trash. Uh, let's see here. Uh, triple burst rate. Wasn't there a double burst? I think there's going to be a quad burst now. Once per turn, during the damage step on a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated, quick, quick, you can negate the activation. If this card attacks the defense position monster. You know, this card's not that bad. Inflict piercing battle damage. During your main phase, at the turn of this card with special summon, you can tribute this card and then target one link to or lower monster you gave your special summon, and then you can special summon one level four or lower dragon monster from your hand. So that, that part's not good unless you're using a dragon deck. During the damage step. Oh, only during the damage step. Holy fuck, never mind. That's that's terrible. I thought it was just period. Like, why isn't this card being played? But now I know why. It's only damage step. Alright. Still going here. Artifact Majolnir, Secure Gardena, Mech Knight, uh, Orange Sunset, Mythical Beast Garuda, another one! Yes! Vector Sage, Archfiend. Uh, World Shield, Recovery Sorcerer. Oh, too bad Cyber's Monsters. Flick Clown, Fire Prison. Oh, that's a feel spell for Dragon Monsters. <laughs> All Dragon Monsters gain 300 defense? What the fuck? All right, let's get in here and read all this text again. I just got done, but I'm going to read it again because that's what I do. Pendulum Effect. If you have no card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can target one other spell or trap card on the field. Destroy both it and this card. You can only use this effect a Mythical Beast Garuda once per turn. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card. When that spell resolves, when your opponent... Normal or special summons a monsters, except during the damage step, you can remove three spell counters from the field. Special summon this card from your hand, then return that opponent's summoned monsters to the hand. You can only use the effect of Mythical Beast Garuda once per turn. That's not bad. 
that's not bad at all. Like, I think that's actually usable. Maybe that's why the deck's doing decently. Like, I see the deck wins once in a while. Same with Mech Knight. I've heard Mech Knight's not bad either. Huh. Weird. Call the Archfiend. Tendangle Angel. Watt Kinetic Puppeteer. There can only be one, folks. World Legacy Key. Scramble Egg. Tendangle Protector. Flick Clown. Tendangle Base Gardener. Man. Still running wild here. Well, running Riot. That was what I was thinking in Halo. Like, what was it? Was it was Running Riot. Magnet, Mech Knight, Orange Sunset, Cynet Refresh, Link Hole, Tendangle Angel, Pendulum Paradox. All right, there's a secret rare. Actually got a secret rare. Glory of the Noble Knights. DD Seeker, Underclock Tiger. Good, good Link Monster. Ghost Trick Renovation. All right, a secret rare. I finally pulled one again. I've only pulled two so far. Add two face-up pendulum monsters with the same pendulum scale but different names from your extra deck to your hand. You can only activate one pendulum paradox per turn. I don't know if this is seen play or not. I have no idea. I think it was. Probably not now. Not bad. It's almost as good as that Duelist Alliance card. Was that a code of the Duelist too? I don't remember. F.A. Test Run. Karate Spirit. <coughs> Link Hole. Mech Knight Orange Sunset. Mech Knight, Indigo Eclipse, Desmanian, look at this card. Look at this fucking thing. Desmanian Devil. Support for the Des Wombat and Des Kangaroo, right? That's what it's all about. Des Koala. Master of Oz. Tendagle Protector, Scramble Egg, Parthian Shot. I remember watching GX when, when uh, Chumley Special Summons Master Oz, I thought that was so cool, and immediately dies that car that doesn't exist in real life. Flipping the table. That needs to be a real card. I don't know why it's not. I heard they're going to make cards from the anime again, and I'm really hoping that's it. God, please let them make fucking Dark World Corridor. Come on. Tendangle Hound, Column Switch, Power of the Guardians, Mythical Beast Jackal, Mech Knight Green Horizon, Tendangle 8 Acute Cerberus, Parthian Shot, oops. Oops. I did it again. I played with your heart. My fridge is activating. I activate my fridge's special ability. Chilling my beverage. <laughs> Striping partner. F.A. Motorhome Transport. Artifact Majolnir. Secure Gardener. Mythical Beast Medusa. Which doesn't really look like Medusa. Eh, maybe it does. World Legacy Key. Gotta use your imagination on that card. Scramble Egg. Parthian Shot. DD Seeker. Why is Scramble Egg in here? What a waste. All right, still going strong here with Extreme Force. Tenangle Intruder, Karate Spear, Flame Administrator, Mythical Bestiary, another terrible Ultra. Still Storm Origin, not a bad card. Port Armor, Contact C, Green Horizon. I don't know, yeah, it's the first one that I've gotten. All right. Gonna read this. More Mythical Beast support. Oh, I see. That's how they make Garuda. Check that out. They combine Jackal and this Eagle to make Garuda. See Garuda's in the background? That's cool. Who's this? Send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, then target one face-up card on the field that you can place a spell counter on. Place two, up to two spell counters on it. That's not bad at all. Oh, it's a quick play. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can special summon one monster from your deck that you can place a spell counter on. And if you do place... Up to spell, two spell counters on it. You can only activate one myth, mythical bestiary per turn. The, you know, these cards sound fun. I ain't gonna lie. They sound pretty fun to me. Alright. Still going here. Still. Going crazy. F.A. Test Run. Call the Archfiend. Tenagle Ang Angel. Downbeat. Do Little Chimera. Stupid name. Wall Dragon. Green Horizon. Acute Cerberus. And Parthian Shot. Yeah, whoa. Did you see that? This pack tried to flee from me. It tried to dive out of my hands. What an act of cowardism. I'm going to open this thing up. Oh, now. There we go. Nagel's Protection. Sign up. Who the fuck is Nagel? Orange Sunset. Link Hole. Vendred Revolution. 
Ultimate Calamofocos, or whatever this thing is, the Ritual Beast card, I don't know, god damn. I don't know, at Navigator, Recovery Sorcerer, and Grand Prix. Man, I still got quite a few of these packs left. Working hard today. Bit Rupert, Trading Places, Tenangle Hound, Mech Knight, Indigo Eclipse, and Still Swarm Origin. This is a highly offensive card. Folks, this does not belong with the Me Too movement. Look at the sexual harassment. Look at it. Look at it. God, you should be ashamed. Man, if Jennifer Lawrence was here, she would totally tell this card how evil and corrupt it is. Parthian Shot, Lockout Garda, and DD Seeker. All right. That Jennifer Lawrence is dumb as hell. Just stay out of fucking politics, bitch. Walk Kinetic Puppeteer. Moonia Maidens, Nangle Hound, Triple Burst Dragon! Another one! World Legacy Scars, Lockout Gardener, World Shield, FA Grand Prix, and Scramble Egg. All right, let's read this amazing Triple Burst Dragon again. All right, once per turn during the damage step when a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated, quick effect, you can negate the activation. If this card attacks the defense position, monster inflict piercing battle damage. During your main phase, except the turn this card with special summon. You contribute this card, then target one link to or lower monster graveyard. Special summon it, then you can special summon one level four or lower dragon monster from your hand. So I guess you can special summon a dragon monster. You don't have to. So that makes the card a little bit better, but still terrible. Still a terrible card. All right, looks like I am down to my last five packs here of Extreme Force. So it has done better in Survey, but I've gotten one fucking secret. Secure Garna, Orange Sunset, Tendangle Intruder, Ma Mythical Beast Medusa, Shell Rocket Dragon, uh, Wall Dragon, Green Horizon, Acute Service, and Parthian Shot. Man. This is brutal. Okay. Still, still going strong here. Moonia Maidens, Bit Rupert, Zombino, Artifact Majolnir, Curious, The Light Sworn Dominion, World Legacy Key, Underclock Taker, Link Belt, Wall Dragon, Tendangle, Acute Cerberus. All right. Three Extreme Force left. Oh, God, one just fell off the table, one of my empty packs. Tenangle Angel, Wakanetic Puppeteer, Xcode Talker. Yes, I knew I'd get him. Another terrible Ultra, but an Ultra nonetheless. World Legacy Whispers, DD Seeker, Underclock Taker, Ghost Trick Renovation, Tenango Base Gardener. My God, I think I've gotten every fucking awful Ultra you can possibly pull today. All right, man, I pull this guy so much. I, that's why I knew I was going to pull him. I pull this all. I, every box of Extreme Force I've opened, I've gotten this. Okay, when this card is Link Summoned, you can choose unused main monster zones equal to the number of Link monsters currently in the extra monster zones. Those zones cannot be used while this monster is face up on the field. You can only use effect, this effect of Exco Talker once per turn. Monsters this card points to gain 500 attack. Also, they cannot be destroyed by card effects. Really bad card. I, I just don't see any use for it really bad. Why do they pick the worst fucking cards to be ultras? I can't figure this out. God, Artifact Majolnir, Sign at Refresh, Tendangle Hound, Column Switch, Vendred Revolution, and Gar Glory of the... Gory of the Noble Knights. No, it's Glory of the Noble Knights. Underclock Taker, Ghost Rook Renovation, Tendangle Base Gardena. Last and final pack of the, of, of the, the cores here. Come on, give me that goddamn heavy metal foes. Tendangle Hound, Calm Switch, Nagel's Protector, Flame Administrator, Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse. That is not a heavy metal foes. Desmanian Devil, Underclock Taker, Tendangle Base Garna, and Euler's Circuit. Okay, normally I'd be done now. I'd be like, all right, thanks for watching. But no, I, I was an idiot and bought these too. So here we go. I'm going to see if what I can pull out of these. This is an old ass spell ruler. I don't know if I can open them in front of the camera. I don't think I got enough room. Ugh. All right, here we go. All right. So here are the, oh, I got, so they're not. Huh, that's more than a rare. Elder of the Six Samurai, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Stardust Phantom. Man, there's some weird ass cards here. 
These are all new cards. Yeah, these are all like Maximum Crisis. Yeah, they're all Maximum Crisis. Every single one of these is a Maximum Crisis. What the fuck? Just give me a whole bunch of Maximum Crisis commons? All right, let's see what I can pull out of Spell Ruler. Here we go. Packs with Yugi on them are my favorite. Horn of Light, Mechanical Snail. Look at this thing. A Cyborg Snail that still travels at a slow pace. Snake Fangs. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Why is this not first edition? Oh my god, that's nice. Oh my god. Even that's not bad. Hosan Ryu, which you know this is the reprint because you did not, if you got Ultra, Super, or Secret in the original, you did not get a fucking rare as well. God damn, Eternal Rest. Uh, no, no, Upstart God. Well, there would be because he's here, but they only did in the first edition packs. Eternal Rest. Destroy all monsters equipped with equipped cards. Pretty bad. Wow, I can't believe I actually pulled a Mystical Space Typhoon. It's probably worthless because it's Spell Ruler Unlimited. Destroy one Spell or Trap card on the field. This card saw such massive play for so long. Like, up until, in like, up until like three years ago, maybe two, this was the go-to Spell and Trap removal still. Since 2002. I mean, it was like over 10 years, MST getting in there. I think MST was limited at one point. All right, wow. All right, here's another spell ruler. So, uh, let's see. Wow, I can't believe I got an MST. That was exciting. All right, here we go. Let's see what I got here. That's only one rare. I'm supposed to get two. Goblin Elite Attack Force. Are these all for Maximum Crisis 2? No, this is Battle Pack 3. Oh, these are all random. Here we go. Memory Loss, Silent Doom Shrinks in here. Cool. Symbolism of a Roulette Spider, the new. The Phantom Knights. Okay, so they did start just going. Like, they started out up to here. So they started out non Maximum Crisis, but then they were like, oh, fuck it, Maximum Crisis, and just threw them all in. Silent Doom and Shrink. Those are good cards back in the day. Silent Doom. But I only got one fucking rare. What the hell? Supposed to get two. Robbed. Absolutely robbed. All right. I, I guess the Link wouldn't do it. Psychic Kappa. Legendary monster here. An amphibian with a myriad of powers to shield it from enemy attacks. Fucking awful. Uh, Curse of Fiend. Crab Turtle. Rising Air Current. Senju of the Thousand Hands. This card's seen a lot of play. Probably still does. Oh, look at that. A Jigun Bakudan. Cool. After this card is flipped, tribute it during your standby phase. Destroy all monsters you control and inflict damage equal to half the total attack of the destroyed cards, excluding this monster to your opponent. Jigu Bakudan. I remember people actually using this monster. Classic, because you, you know, you, oh, there's Wall Shadow. Man, these are so classic. You flip them up, you know, and it, it, it would attack into it, and, and he would, you know, uh, you know, I mean, he have to have to not be able to attract attack into it. That was the whole thing. This card was terrible, but people actually try to use it because the game was so slow back then. You actually could. Giant turtle who feeds on flames, a crimson shell tortoise that feeds on flames. Wow! <laughs> its name is its description. A giant, it should have been crimson tortoise who feeds on flames. It would have been a crimson tortoise that feeds on flames. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, and Peacock. Look at this monster, okay? Look at these monsters. You can tell how old the game was, or how slow the game was. This is a level fucking 5 monster with 1,400 attack, 1,800 defense. This is a level 5 monster with 1,700 attack, 15. This card's a lot better than fucking Giant Turtle. I mean, people used to play Peacock. Nobody fucking played this, even though they should have, just because it's fucking flavor text. It's so dumb. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Invasion of Chaos. Can I pull? Can I pull the uh, one of the envoys? Either beginning or end. That would be ridiculous. Or a uh, Dark Magician of Chaos. All right, Nordic Relic Gungnir and Ancient Rules. Okay, Ancient Rules. I can live with that. A really good card when it first came out. I actually had a guy play that against me with his Blue Eyes deck at the shops. Alright, looks like I got all Maximum Crisis again. Yep. Oh, no, that's that's uh, that's Mega Pack. We got some Mega Pack in here. Yeah, we got Maximum Crisis and Mega Pack. 
That's all we got. All right, here we go. Invasion of Chaos. All right, here we go. The most famous set of all besides, you know, the, the cause of Banlist. Hard the Underdog, great card. Really good, really good card. Draw a phase, draw a normal monster, draw one more card. So you can actually have Exodia with this. If you keep drawing when, before the ban list, you would get Exodia with this card. You keep drawing normal, and of course, Exodia, besides his head, is normal. It's a normal monster, so you keep drawing. If you get like three three left arms, you just keep drawing. Who do you care? Uh, Balloon Lizard. I remember this card being played. I don't remember why. Gross. Oh, my fucking God! Oh, my God! You've got to be kidding me! You have got to be kidding me in a destruction ring. I'm gonna read that out actually. Oh my god! Oh my god, Chop Man, Desperate, Ojama Black, Prickle Fairy. Oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me. Destruction Ring, destroy one face of monster on your side of the field to inflict 1,000 points of damage to your opponent's life points. So this was because Rain Destruction was so good they made this. Because this is sucks compared to Ring Destruction. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god, I can't believe this. <sighs> why isn't this first edition? God damn it, why isn't this first edition? <sighs> Look at the beauty of that. Just take a moment. <sighs> All right. I will read this legendary card. This card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card can only be special summoned by removing from play one light and one dark monster from your graveyard in your graveyard. Once per turn during each of your turns, you can select and activate one of the following effects. Remove from play one monster on the field. If you activate this effect, this card cannot attack during this turn. Or if this card destroys an opponent's monster as a result of battle. <laughs> like the old fucking text there. It can attack once again in a row. I cannot believe I pulled an MST and a BLS in the beginning. I can't believe that just happened. I cannot believe that happened. That is insane. I wonder if that's even worth money, that BLS. Because that is that is the original print. That does not say E-N. That is the North American English. Does it actually say on the pack? I forgot to look. No, it just does say English. So I don't know. Maybe they maybe they didn't do that for these cards still, but it, it doesn't it just says IOC, not IOC E N025. I don't know. That's impressive. That's impressive. That's insane. I can't believe that happened. I'm in shock that I actually pulled that. That's by far the best. Well, I mean, Chaos Emperor Dragon's the best card, but that's the most iconic card to me. I got the most iconic cards from those two sets. MST to me is the most iconic card from Magic Ruler. BLS is the most iconic card from Invasion of Chaos. I cannot believe that just happened. Holy shit. Well, guys, I was kind of angry that I got nothing but garbage ultra rares from Circuit Break, uh, Co the Duelist, and Extreme Force. But even if these aren't worth anything, they still brighten my day up to the 10th degree. That was so awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's going to be like an hour and a half long. But if you guys can make it through, pat yourself on the back. And I really hope you did because you got to see me open up and pull unlimited copies of MST and BLS. I mean, that, when, when do you see that? Seriously. Anyways, guys, I, I really appreciate you watching. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you, uh, you know, want to see more, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified instantaneously, go ahead with that bell icon, you know, for whom the bell tolls, and you'll be letting, you'll be known immediately that I upload some more quality content. And uh, you can look forward to another hour and a half long video from me. Fuck, that's insane. That's crazy. Look at that. That's insane. Oh my fucking god. Ah, wow. 
Nope, today's a good day after all. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry for the long video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I certainly fucking did, even though it didn't look like it was going to, but now I did. All right, guys, I'll catch you in a couple days. Peace!